Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and today I have for you a quick new in uh, video so I'm going to show you a few things I purchased recently uh, I have a few things from a little, I have a few cosmetics and also a couple of clothing pieces from H&M so if you're interested please keep watching Let's start with actually Lidl because I walked in for salad <laughs> and I walked out with a pyjama set and this is the pyjama I chose. I haven't opened it yet, actually, still have to wash it. But um, that's how it's looking. And the set was 9 euro, I'm pretty sure. And I have a few things from like Lidl, from their clothing pieces. And I think they're like good enough quality, to be honest. And I really like the color and the pattern of these pyjamas. So I picked them up because I needed some. So. Let me maybe open it. So here's the set. That's the top part. I know it's looking like wow and amazing, but it's not supposed to be. And the pants. So they're gonna go in the wash. And I have a small, I think small, no, there's also sometimes extra small. But if it's a bit more loose, it has like the thingies in the pants, so you can tighten it and tie it. So it's fine. And then something that interested me are these blister plasters. Uh, I saw that they're now in offer um, and uh, they were like 49 cents a pack and you know like the original ones are really expensive and I want to try them out if they're actually any good quality. So I bought a couple, I bought uh, one pack of these and two packs of these. So we'll see. If I use them at some point, I'll let you know. Okay, let's get into cosmetics. So, I bought some soap because I am sad to say I'm running out of the Yope soap. We ran out of the Yope soap. Our um, stash is shortening. <laughs> so, there was an offer 1 plus 1 on the Dettol soaps. Um, so, I got these ones. And... I got lavender ones because I really like lavender. So there's that. I also was having a look at the makeup, kind of, you know, seeing what's new. There were a few things that were new. Um, a few tempted me, but I resisted. <laughs> but I really want to try on try out some lip glosses. So I purchased two. One's from Essence, and that's the one I am actually wearing today. It's the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss in the shade. Brainer, 33 Brainer, and this one is Catrice Powerful 5 Liquid Lip Balm. So it's a lip balm according to this thingy. Uh, 040 Raspberry Cream. I haven't opened this one yet. This one, I like I said, I'm wearing right now. So I'm also gonna be like letting you know at some point what I think about them. They were very inexpensive and. And like I don't really know how I feel about lip gloss. I don't wear it enough to like buy like a fancy one or something, even though I thought about it. So first I'll see if I like these and maybe at some point I will get something um more high end. And then uh I am slowly running out of my face wash like gel, so I had to look for a replacement. And let me tell you, it's really difficult to find a face wash that you can use like around your uh eyes area. Like, on each of the bottles I had in my hands, it says, please avoid your eyes. But I'm like, but then how am I going to wash it? Like, you know, if it's like makeup I want to take off and stuff like that. I still actually need to buy something like a makeup remover, like an oil or something. But I decided to buy two. The first one is from Himalaya. This purifying neem foaming face wash. Not almost oily skin. And with this one, I have to avoid my eyes but I'll be using it more uh, like in the morning I think I'm gonna be trying out more in the morning or on days that I don't have makeup on um I haven't yeah I'm not gonna open it yet it's closed I'm interested in how it's gonna be working I don't really I didn't really read any reviews I just kind of purchased what I what looked nice as in what I was reading felt like yeah that's for me or um, also this brand, I tried two faces of them, so I'm curious how 
and the hand cream. So I'm curious how the cosmetics are. And the brand I uh, have never heard of before, to be honest. I just walked into like a store with more like natural ingredients cosmetics, and this was one of the few um, that said that didn't say to avoid your eyes. If it's gonna work around my eyes, I don't know. It still might irritate them, but I am willing to try. And this is the Sukin, as Australian um, signature line, I think. Cream cleanser and normal to dry skin types. I'm not dry. Ooh, probably should take a different one. <laughs> a nourishing combination of rose hip avocado and wheat germ leaves. And wheat germ leaves skin feeling clean and soothed. Yeah, we'll see. It sounded interesting for sure. So we'll see about that. I also do miss uh, shopping in like Polish drugstores because. I feel like the range of products in Poland, what you can buy, is just way bigger. But also, there are so many Polish brands that you know produce their own cosmetics, and here I'm struggling to find things other than, like, for example, with makeup. I'm trying to find things other than like Maybelline, L'Oreal. It's very difficult. So I can't wait to go to Poland again. But I actually already have like with my parents. There's like a stash of cosmetics for me to bring. <laughs> I bought those purchases, um, kind of hoping I'll see them quicker. That's an any excuse. Okay, let's get into the pieces I ordered from H&M. I'm gonna show you the things I'm keeping for sure, which are. And don't laugh at me. <laughs> I have purple cargo pants, which are actually from the kids section, because. Well, it fits me. My size is meter sixty-four. If you're interested, because that's also my height. Actually, I'm a bit shorter than that. So I don't know. I bought cargo pants. You can laugh if you want. I want to try them out. I want to kind of style them up more, like you know, fashionable. If I just wear them with a t-shirt and sneakers, it's gonna look kind of ugh. I want to try style them up, and they're also cotton, so they're really nice, soft material and breathable, nothing like synthetic, which I really like. I'm trying to bring some more color into my wardrobe and I think you're gonna notice that throughout the summer <laughs> I bought a skirt an orange one it's also I think cotton um, viscose sorry it's viscose it's like a stretchy one really nice one um, again more colorful but then I ordered uh, sweatpants because I actually need some new ones because mine are kind of worn and I ordered this in like a, this oatmeal-y color it's like a beige but like a cool tone one and these are so soft and like just so comfy but I ordered a size small and I feel like they're a little bit too big on me so I actually ordered an extra small in this and one more color and then two hoodies, which haven't arrived yet, but um, I can't wait for them to to arrive because it's gonna be past when this video has to come come up, come up, come out. <laughs> but I am gonna link them, and uh, I'll like leave their symbol in the description. They are they were 15 euros, so I think they're like a good um, good price range. Uh, so yeah, with these ones, I'm kind of waiting to see. Um, Oh god, which foil was it? Oh. I think it's this one, yeah. So I'm waiting to see uh, if the extra small fits me better and then I'm gonna, uh, you know, not send it back but bring it back to the store. Then, here I have a, a dress. And I'm gonna show you a picture of it because I don't want to take it out of this packaging. You're gonna see a picture here uh, of how it looks on the H&M website. So I was really hopeful when I when I saw it. It's a really nice material. I think it's I think it's viscose, um, like nice and thin and um, soft and breathable. So I took it out and it's like a wrap one, like a wrap dress. So you have you need like a hole on the side here, 
and first of all couldn't find it then I found it and when you pull that um, strip you know to wrap yourself the tie to send yourself around it's just that the hole is way too high and just the shape is off and I couldn't make it work and I was like it's not worth it for me to now bring it to like a tailor and try to adjust it and all of that so it's really a shame because it was really looking nice and I had really high hopes for it then um, I have a pair of jeans that I ordered but uh, I've got 36 and the thing is they're too small in the waist for me but the rest fits nice or like the legs will fit nice the thing is, they're kind of too small, but the fit of them, if I would get a bigger size, they wouldn't look like something I would like to wear. But I've seen like people wear them and they look really nice, and so I wanted to try out this style. It's just nothing for me. Um, feel ni They feel nice. They feel like nice quality, they feel like uh, soft. It's just nothing for me. And then I ordered... Oh, oh please don't fall. It fell. <laughs> I ordered leggings. These are like black with like a um, ribbed texture. And I ordered them because as you can see on the picture here, they have like a V-shaped front. And the thing is, I have cycling pants that have that. And it's meant because, you know, we as women, we get like bloated and stuff like that. So it's meant to basically be more comfortable when that happens. And so I was like, oh, that's great, you know. I ordered them, turns out that's for show, like behind this V-shaped thingy, there's like a normal seam going around, so basically the, the V-shape is just, you know, for the looks of it, so I was like, well, that's not really what I wanted you for, so I'm gonna send it back because, well, bring it back to the store because I don't want it, I'm just gonna return it. So yeah, um, in general, I'm really happy with my purchases, I also can't wait for those um, pants and hoodies to arrive from H&M. They have some nice stuff right now. Uh, a lot of like uh, pastel colors, soft colors. I'm really enjoying that right now. Um, but yeah, that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe not to miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!